Hello to everyone, my name is Bedřich Hotava and I'm working at Siemens in the supplier quality management. With this video, I would like to tell you more about the problem solving process called 8T. The 8D methodic you can use for main of your customer complaints, but also you can use it internally regarding to some product or process problems. And at the end of the day, you will get a lot of benefits from that. Uh, the first benefit is that you will have the standardized approach and the unified outcome from the problem solving process. And also all these actions will be documented and your customer will know what to expect from you. So that will increase also uh, the loyalty of the customer and it also should decrease the non-conformity costs in the case of the right corrective action will be implemented. Eight D means eight disciplines. So each discipline is very important. You are not allowed to skip any of these disciplines. And with the next slides, we will go through all these disciplines and I will tell you more what is hidden inside. In a discipline number one, here it is about the nomination of the team. Always remember, one member is not a team. So recommended is to nominate from three to five persons and every time nominate also a team leader. And this team should have enough time and willingness and also the competencies regarding the problem solving process. In a discipline number two, here it's about the description of the problems. You have to be really specific in this description and you can help yourself by using the W questions like what, when, why, who or how many. And if you are not sure if this is the right description of the problem, do not hesitate to contact your customer to have the common understanding what is really hidden inside the problem. In the discipline number three, you have to secure the production line of the customer. Here is the space for immediate corrective actions. The mainly or the common use procedure is sorting. So take in your mind that your customer, in case of some problems on the production line, directly starts with the sorting from the production line, then to the internal warehouse, and then maybe use an external company to sort the parts also outside the plant. And here you have to be, let's say, 100% focus of the immediate actions. You can use your residence and send it within the customer plans. You can support your customer with the working or control uh, working instructions. And also you have to stay in touch with the customer in case of other activities like setup of the border samples or some temporary rework of the non-conformity parts or just for the uh, risk assessment where you have to a little bit think about if the same failure is not occurring also some, on some other products or for some other customer plans. In a D4 discipline, here you have to really find the root cause of the problem not only define the symptoms, but you have to be very sure about what is the root cause. For this, you can use some basic methods like Ishikawa or Turtle model from the VDA 6.3 and really be focused on some main elements like people, machines, if the procedure was done wrong, what it was the problem from the outcome or, or income and really find the root cause. In the discipline number five, you have to plan the corrective actions long term. That means that you should define some corrective actions including responsible persons and date. And if you have the possibility, you can also verify if this is the right corrective action, for example, to using some simulations or whatever. In the discipline number six, here you have to truly and physically implement all the described 
uh, corrective actions from the previous discipline and verify their effectiveness. So, for example, you can still uh, do some sorting and check the results also after the implementation of the corrective actions to be sure that this is the right corrective action for the right root cause. In the discipline number seven, here you have to think a little bit outside the box. You have to think about the preventive actions in the future, how to secure your customer or other customer plans against the same uh, failure like you got in, in the previous time. So you can use some, some tools like FMEA or some lessons learned procedures to really invest right now into the preventive actions. In the discipline number eight, here is the space for congratulation to your team. And also it's about the formal closure of the problem solving process. So you need to be sure that all these actions were documented and also in some uh, customer business to business platforms, all these procedures were closed and successfully send it out. So, and that's it. These were all these eight disciplines and some basic rules how to proceed with them. So thanks for watching and looking forward for the next time. Bye.